Most people in this world have never been themselves. They've just been trying to survive. They are what society expected them to be because they're trying to survive. When society says, hey, you can't act the way that you are acting, it's wrong. It's wrong. I'm like, okay, it means that I have to change in order to meet society's expectation. No, you can't speak that way. That's wrong. Oh, I got to change to meet society's expectation. You can't think that way. That's wrong. Oh, I have to change to meet society's expectation. You can't say that. Oh, I have to change in order to mix, meet society's expectation. I find that when you behave a certain way, people seem to judge you a lot. Sometimes uh, people leave you just because you're acting a certain way or you say certain things like, no, 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 I don't, don't want to be around you because you think this way and you've been saying this so i don't want to be around you no and you're like okay that doesn't work i mean it should work i mean this makes sense to me but it doesn't make sense to other people so i must change that's why people are the same everywhere because society told them that they shouldn't be themselves. Like society told them that they shouldn't be themselves. Society told you that you shouldn't dress the way that you want to dress. No, no, it's wrong. Or, wow, you're weird. Why do you dress like that? You're weird. Why don't you dress the way that everyone dresses? Ha, your accent is weird. Damn, you think you think like that? No, no, never, never ever uh, let anyone know how you think. Keep everything inside. Most people have never been themselves. They've just been trying to survive. So they don't know how it's like to actually be themselves. They just want approval. That's it. Like, you just want approval. I'm pretty sure that each and every person who's watching this video is actually guilty of just wanting approval. Like, not, not ne neglecting themselves because they want approval from other people. They're like, hey, I gotta focus on what works. Not what makes sense. Because this world doesn't care about what makes sense. It's all about what works. So people are not authentic and they don't know what it's like to be themselves because they've never been themselves. They've just been trying to survive. You've never been yourself, am I wrong? You've just been trying to survive. You've just been trying to fit in. You've just been trying to make money. Been trying to keep your job. You've just been trying to keep your partner. You've never really told them how you really feel. Who you really are. You've never showed them how you think. You never told them what you wanted to tell them. You keep everything inside because you're afraid to lose them. You're afraid to lose people, so you fake. What happens when a person gets used to being fake? They start to think that the person that they were pretending to be 
is who they are. They don't realize they were pretending. Like, hey, this is where I am. I don't like expressing myself. You know, it's how I am. No, you actually did like expressing yourself. The problem is that you have expressed yourself and someone made you feel bad for expressing yourself. So you never, 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 never say that again. Never say that again. Or you have lost people for expressing yourself. So you're like, hey, that means I mustn't express it myself. And then you got used to keeping everything inside to a point where you just thought, well, I'm, I'm, I'm an introvert, you know? I'm an introvert. Some introverts ain't introverts. They've just uh, been shamed for expressing themselves. Maybe the way that they view the world was so different from how other people view the world. When they were little, they, they, they liked expressing themselves. Like, oh, this is what I think. This is how I feel. But they kept on being uh, getting shamed for being the way that they are. So they were like, oh. I have to be safe because I don't like how I feel when they shame me for being myself, for expressing myself. So they became introverts, but they weren't actually introverts. A lot of people be like, ah, I like being myself. You're not being yourself. You're just being what society expects you to be. You're just being comfortable. You're just protecting yourself. It's your ego protecting itself. But you're not really yourself. The problem with not being yourself is that you make it hard for people to love you. Like there's a price that you have to pay for not being yourself. You'll make it hard for people to love you. And what do I mean? Let's say you, like you love dogs. You see a pit bull, you love a pit bull, you love pit bulls, right? Like pit bulls are aggressive. They ain't scared of nothing. And you decided, okay, I'm I'm going to buy a pit bull. But you find that uh that pit bull has been through a lot that it has changed it's no longer um, what it, it 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 was supposed to be it has changed a lot because of how it has been treated it's a pit bull but it behaves like a rabbit are you going to be able to like love it i mean yeah you like it maybe but i mean you you, you wanted a pit bull you wanted a pit bull to act like a pit bull but it's acting like a rabbit I know a lot of people who, like I've met, who you can see that this person is not being themselves. Like they, they, they are holding back a lot because they're so damn afraid. You love them, but then they don't know how to be themselves because of how they have been treated in the past. I've been that way too. And I'm still doing a lot of work to be able to heal from you know previous experiences to become more of who i am and i've been telling you guys that you need to become more of who you are like you need to remember who you are the world was forcing you to change this society is forcing you to change i'm saying no no no, no. remember who you are that's when you become powerful you're not going to be powerful if you are not yourself because you are being what the world wants you to be but what the world wants you to be is uh, is a, is a, is a slave, you know. It's a person who doesn't know themselves, who doesn't understand themselves. A person who doesn't mind uh, working shitty jobs in order to survive, you know. A person who uh, follow the rules, you know, who, who, who doesn't break any rules because 
uh, they're afraid. That's what society wants you to be, but you're not that. You see, human beings, human beings, man, they don't, they don't want to follow stupid rules. Human beings want to be in control of their own lives. They want to make their own decisions. The problem is that society wants us to be less than what we are so that it will be able to control us. So that we will do things that don't make any sense to us. It has gotten to a point where people are expected to just, you know, do things that don't make sense to them. But they know that these things that are forced to do don't make any sense to them. They know that it doesn't make sense to wake up in the morning, go to work, sit behind a computer, start typing stuff, do the same shit the next day, do the same shit the day after. Like, no. They don't, that, doesn't make, that doesn't make sense to a lot of people. People want to... Doing new things every day, you know? Discover new things. They want to grow. They don't want to feel like slaves. We have created a society where being a slave is normalized. People aren't creative anymore. They're afraid. They're afraid to take risks. You've never really been yourself. You've just been trying to survive. But you think you've been yourself. You think you are being yourself now. No. It takes a lot of work for people to become themselves because we have been brainwashed so damn much that we forgot who we are. You know, each and every person is unique. Each and every person is unique. Look at my face. If you've ever like, met a person who looks like me before, we're unique. But we behave the same, all of us. We behave like cattle. They can predict how we're going to like react to things. Like human beings are so damn predictable. You're like, damn, man. What the hell? Everyone is predictable. If you're not going to be yourself, like what are you really doing? I ask you of the question, like what are you really doing? What is what is this all about? If you are not yourself, what is this all about? How do you justify your existence if you're going to be fake? If you are only just going to be trying to survive, if you are going to be a slave. Because think about it, if you're not going to be yourself, you're being a slave. The slaves don't do what they want to do because they're afraid of punishment. The slave master will be like, hey, hey, you don't do that, I'm going to punish you. So they end up um, doing the things that the slave masters want them to do instead of doing what they want to do. Your society has punished you for being yourself, so you ended up uh, becoming society's slave. You, forgetting that this so-called society thing has actually been created by people who are powerful in order to control people like yourself. You don't realize that. You don't realize that people don't really want to live the way that they are living. It's just that they've been... Uh, Defeat it. So they have to live the way that society says they might at least live. But no, people want to be free, bro. People want to make their own choices. Uh, people want to be unpredictable. They want to have fun. They want to enjoy their lives. How many people are actually enjoying their lives? You watch my videos and be like, ah, Benedict Hines is not enjoying his life. But how many people are actually enjoying their lives? I mean, people are just not honest because being honest is a bad thing in this uh, society. And you sh that should make you ask yourself a lot of questions. Why is being honest a bad thing? 
being honest isn't supposed to be a bad thing but being honest in this society is actually a bad thing why is being honest a bad thing if you own slaves would you want them to be honest really think about it would you want your slaves to be honest would you want your slaves to be real would you want your slaves to express themselves if they're going to be honest they're going to make other slaves realize how, that the way that they're being treated is wrong if they're going to be honest they're going to make you feel like yes but uh, i shouldn't be treating people this way so you don't want them to be honest you want them to obey you want them to say the things that you want them to say you don't want them to express themselves you don't want them to be unique you don't want them to be themselves you want them to be what you want them to be we live in a society like that now people are slaves and don't even realize that slaves some of them are happy being slaves some of you are so damn intelligent that you see that this is BS, but you don't know what to do. Like, I, I'm, I'm just going to do what everyone else is doing. Like, no. If you can see that this is BS, that means you are more conscious than a lot of people. You shouldn't be afraid of people judging you, people saying that you're crazy. Like, trust me, trust me. If you go into abandon yourself just for candy, because this, this is what people are doing. You're abandoning, abandoning yourself for candy. All of this would have been for nothing. Your pain, your suffering, all these things that you've went through would have been for nothing. And you abandoning yourself doesn't mean that you're not going to suffer. You still will suffer. There's no avoiding suffering, really. You might say, oh, I'm going to minimize my suffering by uh, uh, being fake. No, no, no. no. Your true self will keep on calling your name. Your true self is going to be desperate. It's going to be like, why do you keep me locked in? It's going to want to come out. And that will be painful still. It, it has to get to a point where you just choose to suffer. And do you want to suffer for being real or for being fake? Because you still suffer even if you're fake. The difference is that when you are real, you suffer at that time when you are being real. When you're fake, you're going to suffer... Um, after a long time and you don't even going to realize that you're suffering because you're fake if you're going to be real you're going to suffer like if you're going to decide right now that you want to be real of course you're going to suffer but now if you're going to be fake you won't suffer now but in the future you're going to suffer so it's up to you it's up to you because there's no avoiding suffering life is suffering so you rather choose your suffering instead of being fake there's nothing good that can come out of you being fake all right like seriously, like what do, what do you think is gonna happen? You're on your deathbed, like fifty years from now. You think about your own life. Are you gonna be proud? Like, damn, man, I was courageous. You know, I stood for my truth. I was authentic. I I I didn't allow other people to control me. Like, bro, you have to be yourself. People are going to judge you, bro. I, no matter what you do, people will judge you. There, there's no way around it. People will judge you. It's just that uh, when you are real, people are going to judge you 
now. When you're fake, people are going to judge you because they're going to realize that you're not real. Like, they're going to realize something's wrong with you because you're not being real. And the only thing that's actually wrong with you is that you're fake. You've been forced to be fake and uh, you don't realize that. You don't need to be fake anymore. You're stronger now. Maybe you needed to be fake when you were little because um, you were weak. But now you're stronger. So become who you are. Being yourself is really that important. All right? When you are being yourself, that's when you discover your power. That's when you, you function in a way that uh, is actually going to make sense to you and to people around you. Like people are, are going to sense that there is something about this person. Because there's something about everyone really that's that's unique what you must realize about life is that i've been telling you all this i've been telling you that consciousness is fundamental right consciousness is fundamental we are trapped in our bodies but consciousness is fundamental consciousness is what we are so if you forget that and, 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 and believe that you are what this world has programmed you to be, no one is going to feel your essence, right? Because you forgot what you are. You look at yourself like a slave. I'm a slave. You know, I should just live my life like this. No, 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 man. Be you. A hundred percent. Like, be you. Don't. Dude, never apologize for being you right if you are being yourself i mean if you you're still living in fear yeah yeah you, you should apologize but if you are really being yourself if really the person that you are today is exactly what you would actually want to be no matter what then be that person i'm telling you that people are what society programmed them to be it's not really what they want to be I mean, how many of y'all have told me that you are unable to be yourself? How many of y'all have told me that I can't be myself because of this and that? Fact the consequences of being yourself, you know, you still suffer for being fake. There's no way around it. That's what you must realize and never betray yourself. You let me tell you the consequences of betraying yourself. The consequences of betraying yourself are actually far worse than the consequences of being yourself. Because consciousness is fundamental. If you train yourself to be fake, you're going to forget what you really are. So in any reality that you're going to experience, you're going to be a slave. You're going to be a slave in your dreams because, well, you're a fucking coward in this reality. You're telling consciousness that you're a coward. So consciousness believes that. So even when you're dreaming, you're a fucking coward. You're not even able to see when something is off. But if you are yourself, you're going to be an OG even in your dreams. You're going to be like, no, 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 man, I, I ain't doing dumb shit. You know, imagine having a dream where you're supposed to be a slave. If you are real, if you are authentic, and, and you have unprogrammed your mind, right? Because this, 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 in this reality, you're supposed to be a slave. So if you unprogram your mind... Even when you're dreaming, you're not going to be a slave. Like, no, no, I know where I'm doing some damn shit. Just to survive now. Man, I'm not going to be scared of nothing. Fuck that. I'm not going to be scared of nothing. You have to be that real. It is important. It is important that you are real. There is nothing that beats authenticity. I remember I told you guys that, um, like, there's three ways to kind of, like, escape this, 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 this madness that we call society. I said, um, make sure that you don't, like, really be bringing people into this realm, especially if you don't love it. You're not in love with this realm. So it really doesn't make sense that you bringing people here 
I mean, you can't be in a place that you do not love and you be like, hey, hey uh, I'm bringing more people into this place even if you do not love it. If you don't think that this is the, the best that we can do, if you think that there's so much suffering in this realm, if you think that uh, people are going through hell in this realm, then uh, there is no need for you to be, uh, you know, bringing uh, a lot of people. I mean, not, not even a lot, of, like anyone actually, into this realm. Because, well, what's going on in this realm doesn't really make sense to you. I remember telling you that authenticity is important. You, you've got to learn to be yourself. Like, don't be afraid to be you. Don't be afraid to stand for the truth no matter what. Because um, if you're not going to be yourself, you're going to forget what you really are. And once you forget what you really are, I don't know, like, what's going to happen, really? Like, you're going to get lost in a dream. If you've watched the movie Inception, <laughs> when you are stuck in limbo, it's kind of like you f you're lost in a dream, right? So it's like you've lied to yourself so much that you got stuck in a dream. You got stuck in, a, in this simulation because of the lies that you do. You're stuck here because of the lies that you've been telling yourself. You are actually stuck here because of the lies that you've been telling yourself, not because of the truth that you've been telling yourself. How many people do you know that are actually truthful? How many people do you know that are actually real? Bro, everywhere I go, I see fakeness. I don't see people who are real, who are authentic, who stand for the truth. I see people who are fake, bro, everywhere. People who are just trying to survive. It sucks because at this level of consciousness, I want truth from people. I don't want people to be lying to themselves. I don't want people to be lying to me. I want truth, bro. So when I see people being fake, I'm like, ah, man, this sucks. I do expect fakeness from people who are not conscious because... They don't know what they actually need to be doing. They're so damn unconscious that they have to listen to the people who are programming them to be slaves. Because what can they do? But if you're real, if you're watching this video, I have to trust. I have to trust that you, you're real. I have to believe that you are a highly conscious person. You know, I have to believe that. I don't believe you'll be watching this video if you're just like any other person. So, uh, because you're real, you know uh, how to be yourself. Like, you know what you need to do to be yourself. You know when you are doing what they have they programmed you to do. When you are rejecting yourself, when you are abandoning yourself, you know. Sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and be like, eh, but I'm, f I'm fake. I'm afraid. I'm living in fear. And when you're alone, you're like, ah, tomorrow I'm going to be real. I'm not going to be fake anymore. But then when you go out into the world, you're still fake. You're still afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of, actually, really. Like, you know, it's not like uh, now when you're real, they're going to unalive you. I'm real. They're not. Nobody trying to unalive me. Yes, there will be people who will judge me. Yes, there will be girls who are going to be like, okay, I used to like him, but I think he's crazy. <laughs> it ought to be. Um, I remember my cousin used to tell me this. She's like, man, uh, I mean, it's a dude. He's like, yo, man, listen, you good with girls. Like, for real, like, I respect you. Like, you're really good with women. But you got to stop talking about your... Your, your philosophies with them. You know? You got to stop talking about your philosophies. Because obviously they're not going to understand you. And they're going to think that you're crazy. I understand you. But do you really think that a person can just understand you right away? 
Like, you're too deep, bro. Like, people I ain't gonna just understand you right away. Like, it takes time. I used to judge you a lot until I got to know you. But can you imagine you, you meet a girl, today you guys talk, get into a relationship, and then three weeks later now you're talking about your philosophy. Of course she's not gonna understand you. She's gonna think you're crazy, and she's gonna <laughs> stay the, away from you. But that's how we abandon ourselves like hey i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, sell my soul for candy i got this girl man i gotta be fake because uh, well, you know what i mean like it's the sound wrong with that you, you gotta be real even if it means that you're not getting the candy it's fine be real you know f fuck the games bro <laughs> there's a lot at stake that's another thing that you must realize there's a lot at stake so you mustn't abandon yourself just because um, you, you you want connection with people a lot of people that you want connection with ain't even real bruh a lot of people that you're like hey i want i want this person in my life and i want to connect with this they're not even real So you have to be real, man. Not be afraid of being real. Not be afraid of uh, losing whatever this matrix is giving you for being fake. Because this matrix is going to reward you for being fake. This matrix is going to reward you for playing this game that it wants you to play. If you're going to be real, this matrix is going to be like, Ish. okay, let's just punish this person by not giving them what they want. Let's see if they, they're still going to be real. What I'm saying is that continue to be real. Even if this matrix is going to be like, hey, I'm not giving you the candy if you are real. I'm saying continue to be real. You'd realize that the things that you are losing ain't even real. There's a lot to gain by being yourself than by being fake. All right. You have to train your mind to be to not be in fear so that even in the after life you're like you're going to be real you're going to be authentic you're not going to believe bs you know when the icons are lying to you you're not going to believe the bs if you see that something doesn't make sense be honest with yourself don't 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 lie to you. So if you feel like if you're a Christian and you see that I should put the sound wrong with this religion, be fucking honest. All right. Don't lie to yourself just because you're afraid of hell. Now nah, be honest. There's a lot at stake. If you continue to lie to yourself, you are actually selling your soul. Hey Jesus, this Jesus, that doesn't. The whole thing doesn't make sense. You can see that that is manipulation. You can see that. Like if you're going to step into your authenticity, you're gonna see that the whole thing is a scam. You can, like, bro, it's beyond obvious that the whole thing is a scam. It's beyond obvious. But people will be trying to justify nonsense because, uh, you know, they're trying to survive, living in fear and all that. Like, nah, man, I don't believe people are that stupid. I mean, yeah, people are, you know what I mean, like that, not that intelligent. But this, <laughs> no one is so damn unconscious that they don't realize that, these religions that we've been given are scams. Like, there's a part of you that sees that, ah, no, 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 these religions, nah, man, like, no, no, I have to give this pastor money, really? Ah, this pastor is saying that he's not going home until I, I, I give him off, like, nah, man. I give him 10% of my pay, for what? What has he done? He's never healed me when I'm sick, I go to a hospital, bruh. He's never like really healed me. When he's sick, he goes to a hospital. Isn't there isn't that proof that it's a scam? So your pastor gets sick and goes to a hospital. But he believes in Jesus. He believes that Jesus is a healer, but he goes to a hospital. And you, when when you're sick, you just give him money and he prays for you. I know uh, there have been many people who have um, who have left us because they trusted these pastors. Instead of taking medicine. <laughs> so come on, man. Come on. You can't be... I don't believe that people can be that unconscious. The problem is that you're a coward. You're afraid. They've, they've made you afraid. 
that's the problem you are so damn afraid to be yourself you're so damn afraid to ask questions you're so damn afraid to say hey but this this is not making sense hi uh, now nah, sounds wrong you guys are lying to us if if, if 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 what you're saying was true you wouldn't be behaving the way that you're behaving think about it if christianity was true do you honestly think pastors would be behaving the way that they're behaving honestly they believed in hell and they believed that they're on the right path believed in jesus do you think they'll be behaving the way that they're behaving they wouldn't even care about anything temporary bro trust me like if i was a true if i was a christian believed in christianity 100 percent i had faith I wouldn't really care about having fun here. Be like, hey, we eternal. Who cares? You know what I mean? I'm being heaven. Let me just try to save people from this hell. You know? And I'm, I will be real. I wouldn't be caring. I wouldn't even care about girls, bro. Stay away. I mean... The, the guy that they're claiming to follow didn't even, like, have women in his life. Like, I mean... Yeah, the way women were following him, but he knew that what he stands for is much bigger than having fun. He was focusing on doing what he knew he was supposed to do, his purpose. It wasn't a, to him, it wasn't about having money. It wasn't about having power. It wasn't about being worshipped. You know, I mean, I'm not saying it's true, but I'm just trying to show you something. You have to see when you're being scammed, bro. Like, it, it is important. The people who get scammed are people who are not authentic. That's, that's another thing that you must realize. The people that I know who, who, get, who got scammed before are people who are not authentic. They're not honest with themselves. Even if they see that something is BS, they still act like it's not BS. Like, ah, you know, I, I, I see something's, something's not right, but hey, uh, you know... <laughs> Like, nah, if you see that something is not right, do not lie to yourself. Ask yourself what is actually going on because there's nothing to gain by being fake. There's nothing to gain by being fearful. There isn't much to lose now. If you're going to be real, you don't really have a lot to lose. You know what I mean? Like, no one is going to come and put you in prison just because you're honest. There isn't much to lose. That's the thing. So you have to be authentic, even if it means that the people are go in your life are going to turn their backs on you just because you're real. You must, um, you must anticipate that. That's how the matrix keeps you in line, actually. You know, um, it makes sure that um, you are rewarded for being fake. And uh, it makes sure that things are taken away from you when you are real. This is how, you know, this matrix has been, like, um, keeping you in line. Because it knows what we want. It knows uh, uh, what is meaningful to us. So it's like, hey, okay, you're going to be, you're going to be real. You're going to stop obeying. Fine. I'm going to take away the things that you love the most from you. But I'm saying all of it is a lie. You know, all of it is a lie. You've been programmed to be a slave. And um, what you're being given isn't even real. You deserve all the things that the Matrix is giving you for being fake. And you know that. You deserve each and everything that the Matrix is actually giving you for being fake. So there's no reason to be fake man be real be authentic remember what you are understand that you're being forced to be fake because you are more powerful than you are you are being forced to give away your power basically like that's that's what the whole thing is about you are being tamed like a wild animal that's actually being tamed I'm saying don't don't be afraid to be yourself uh, there isn't anything that this matrix is gonna give you that is worth you losing yourself there is nothing that this matrix is going to give you that is worth you losing yourself
don't operate like a robot because you're not a robot you're a highly conscious individual who's trapped in the matrix where you've been lied to consistently You've been lied to so much that you forgot that you're a highly conscious individual. It's not going to be easy for you to be yourself because, well, each and every person is not themselves. So, yeah, things are going to be a bit harder for you because... You live in a fake world around fake people who don't know that they are fake. But there's a lot to gain. By being real than being fake. Everything that you'll gain by being fake isn't even real. <laughs> this is one thing that you must realize. Everything that you can gain by being fake is not real. And everything that you lose by being real is fake. How do you lose something by being real if it's not fake? So are you going to hold on to something that is fake just because you're afraid of, being, of losing it? So you'll be like, I'm, I'm just going to be fake just to keep what I want. I'm going to live a lie just to keep what I want. Are you going to be real and, and face the consequences of being real, but at least you want your soul back? Because you being fake is you selling your soul. You know, people talk about these celebrities that have sold their souls, they, you know, these famous celebrities, but they are also selling their souls. The difference is that you didn't sign any contract, so you're good. It's easy for you to win your soul back. It's easy for you to become whole again and stop being fake. Because, well, you, you haven't signed any contract, you don't owe anyone anything. So you can, can be real. But some people have been uh, fake for too long and, and they've made deals. And they shouldn't, like, break these deals. And, yeah, they... They've signed contract, but you, you haven't signed any contract. You're just trying to survive by living a lie because, well, that's what this realm appreciates the most because it's not even real. It wants you to play the game. It wants you to be manipulative. It wants you to lie in order for you to give you what you want. It doesn't want you to be real. But by being fake, you're losing your soul by default you might tell yourself that ah man i know i know how to be real so i can just be fake just to get what i want for now no no, no. you are losing your soul you are going to become weak so weak that you are afraid to be you are afraid to be yourself like you're no longer strong enough to be like hey this is where i am you see what i'm doing now like making these videos it's easy for me to be real even if I know people are going to judge me. It's easy for me to be real with my like, people that I hang out with sometimes. I don't really like have. Like, like uh, my day ones are not even around. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah. It's easy for me to say, hey, this is really what I think. Why? Because I've trained myself to be real. It's easy for me to uh, remember who I am even when I'm dreaming. No. I could be having a dream where I'm about to have sex with a girl. I'm going to remember that I'm an internationally, so I got to use protection. I'm not going to forget that I don't want to bring people into a world. I'm going to remember exactly where I am. I'm going to remember exactly what I stand for. But if you're fake, you're going to forget all of that. And that is why I'm saying to y'all that you have to get ready for what's, hap what's going to happen in the afterlife. Because the, what, the level of manipulation that you're dealing with here is nothing compared to the level of manipulation that you're going to deal with. Because you're going to be dealing with the gods themselves. 
they're going to be dealing with the icons themselves. If they are faking, if everything is fake, things that you see on TV, uh, politics, all of that, entertainment, all of, if all of it is fake and you don't see that, how are you going to be able to see when you're being manipulated in the afterlife? Like it's going to require a lot of work. So you must be able to see when something that has happened is fake. You, you must be able to see what's real and what is fake. When these social media influencers are lying to you. <laughs> There's this guy that I know. He's now dating this other lady. She's a social media influencer. When they got into a relationship, I knew it was fake. I knew that the idea was to push their business. That's it. She's, she sells sneakers and a bunch of other things. He also sells sneakers, iPhones and a lot of shit. So they're famous. They, <laughs> they became lovers so that they would push their business. You know, they become this power couple. They know that they're not dating. They don't. But a lot of people don't realize that. Like it's it's so damn easy to fool people. It's almost as if people don't want truth. Like it's actually scary. Like how people believe lies over truth. You tell someone the truth, they don't believe you. You lie to them, they believe you. You're like what? What's, what happened? Like this matrix has um conquered us so much that we don't even recognize truth. <laughs> So we're supposed to respond to lies, not to truth. Like that's how the matrix wanted us to be. So it is one. Because we don't respond to truth, we respond to lies. So all people need to do if they want to win is figure out how to lie effectively and that's it. But don't be one of these people who wants to get what you want. by lying or who wants to survive by lying to yourself be real you've already been through a lot uh, so what is it that the universe is gonna throw at you that you can't handle if you're real you need to remember what you are and keep on remembering and you never remembering if you are not authentic if you are going to be living in fear you never remembering what you are you never stepping into your true power you're not going to allow the people who are real to be in your life because you're fake like it's it's never gonna work. You're not gonna have real friends because you're fake. See, when you're real, it's easy to find the right people because you're real. So people who are in your life are gonna be people who are not um, pushed away by your realness. You see, people who are real ain't scared of real of realness. People who are real ain't scared of truth. People who are not real are scared of the truth. Truth always pushes away those who are fake. That's another thing that a lot of people do not realize. Think think about it. All the people that you've lost in your life are people who... Like, when you think about it after some time, you realize that, no, they weren't, they weren't real. And I lost them when I was real. So that's what you must realize. You're going to lose everything that is fake when you are real. So there's no reason for you to um, be fake just to keep people in your life you have to be real it's it's important that you don't forget what you are it's important that you don't get lost in this thing
A lot of people are lost, bro. And it seems like some of them can never be found. Like, you try to have conversations with them and try to bring them back up. You know, bring them back to their truth, but that they're, they're lost. They're stuck in limbo. And I think that's how people end up trapped in the simulations, really. Is that you are fake. You can say that something doesn't make sense and you like you pretend as if it makes sense. You you're kinda of like consenting to how things are. And things end up becoming worse and you keep on consenting and consenting and consenting and consenting. So you end up accepting nonsense. People believing in their fake pastors. This this guy's will tell them the biggest lies. Like they'll start by telling them the lies that don't seem so much like lies. And then they, they realize all oh, these people believe this nonsense. They continue to speak nonsense and they end up telling them lies that just don't make sense. And they continue to believe these lies. That's what's happening in this reality, man. People don't know how to be authentic anymore. And what's worse is that we're making it harder for people to be authentic because as we continue to accept this um, this system, if we, as, we, as we continue to accept society as it is, we start to think this is how things should be. So when younger people are questioning things like, ah, but this doesn't make sense, we're going to be like, hey, this is how we've known things to be. That is why older people uh, are the ones who are against change. We realize that it's usually people who are older who are against change. We come up with new ideas like, nah, nah, nah. it doesn't matter if the new idea is actually better. They are against change because they are so used to how things are. So they expect people who, who come after them to also continue with the BS that they were, they, they've adopted. So that's why it's not easy to change things. I live in a very crazy world, man. Only the truth is setting us free. Authenticity is what's setting us free. You gotta reject BS, bro. Straight up. Reject BS. If you see that something is BS, reject it. Don't be weak. Don't comply just because you're afraid. If something is BS, reject it. Even if it means everyone is going to say what, what they say, it's fine. Don't be afraid to lose what the matrix has given you for being fake. All right, that's important. Don't be afraid to lose what the matrix has given you for being fake. It's not even yours. The matrix has given it to the person that you you're pretending it to you're, that you're pretending to be. So it's not yours. You understand? Whatever the matrix has given you for being fake. Is not yours. It's it's for the person that you were pretending to be. So don't be afraid. Every, everything that you're going to lose by being real is not yours. What you're going to gain by being real is yours. So you, you have to get to a point where when you've reached your final form, you, you are 100% authentic. You're not telling yourself any lie. You're like, you're beyond authentic, actually. So 
Trust me, there isn't. There isn't anything to protect. Everything that you're trying to protect is part of this matrix. Everything that you're trying to protect is actually part of this this matrix. Your emotions are part of this thing. Right? Everything. You are scared of suffering, but suffering happens in this thing. Suffering is what keeps you from waking up, actually. So, be more authentic. Right? Especially if you're suffering, be more authentic. I mean, you're already suffering, so... Why be fake? <laughs> I love... Uh, taking risks when I'm suffering like when I'm going through something I love taking risks when I'm going through something because I'm already in pain so like what's the worst that could happen I'm already in pain so I'm just gonna continue to feel pain so it's fine I guess it's much harder to take risks when you're doing very well things are good as well you might end up suffering but if you're already suffering then you're already suffering it's not gonna be worse it might seem like it's worse but really <laughs> it's not really going to be worse so don't don't be afraid man you've been living in fear your whole life you've never been original you've never been yourself you just think you have been yourself because you know you're supposed to be yourself. But most people are not themselves. They're just what society has programmed them to be. And they believe that they are being themselves because they forgot what they really are. I'm a Christian. I'm just being myself. No, you're not being yourself. You are programmed to be a Christian. So are you really being yourself by being a Christian? How? How are you being yourself? gotta be yourself not what the world wants you to be this world is in fear people being fake is like people being thrown into prison and wanting more people to be thrown into prison with them because they, f they are alone. Like, hey, we're in prison, so f it'll be good if the rest of the world can be thrown in prison so that all of us will be in prison. So if you are real and they say that you are real, they've been programmed to act in a way that will make you think that being like them is better so you change and uh, become a prisoner like them that's when they'll be happy and blah like, oh, yeah he's one of us she's one of us now that's what they want they want you into their prisons that's all because they are miserable and they do not want to be alone in their prisons So work on becoming free because you've been changing, trying to please everyone, trying to be what society wants you to be, that uh, you don't know how to be yourself. So you need to unprogram your mind. Oh, let go of fear. You'll be fine. You will be fine. It's the pain that you're going to feel is, is temporary. You actually get used to it. It's no longer going to really mean anything because you're so used to it.
So be yourself. Thank you all guys.